Disclaimer, this video is rated M for mature audiences. If you are not okay with violence and whatever this game has to offer, then please walk away from this video right now. If you are okay with violence and such, then keep watching, please. But viewer discretion is advised. What's up, guys? Arguing Gate Three here. My mic on the right setting. Um. Okay, good. It is. <laughs> um, welcome back. Let's play. No more heroes for the Wii. Last time we got some money, picked up trash, and Sylvia said she was gonna send us the details over snail mail. That was some really friggin' fast mail. <laughs> like as soon as the cutscene's supposed to come, like right before this, I guess. Let me do it in my French accent. Dear Travis, the next ranker is one dangerous dude, but there's no going home now. You've set foot on the path of a real man. No amount of tears can wash away that choice. Now hurry to the subway, get on the train, and find him. Waiting. Put your life on the line. Alright, so Sylvia, for once, I think, maybe, probably not, though, has faith in us. <laughs> Those are some pretty bad odds, honestly. Rank 7 battles now open. Let's go face rank 7. One of my favorite bosses in the game. Just in terms of character, I mean. A, a lot of these bosses are good with character, but this one is just particularly hilarious. I don't know why. Uh, the palm trees. Oh, these things are like drugs to me. I mean, I've never taken drugs before, but I assume it would be this fun. But yeah, we are going to the subway, new location. We get a new location like every fight, but you know, whatevs. Okay, I forgot how to, I forgot how to Tokyo Drift. I forgot how to Tokyo Drift, I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah, we are going to the subway. What? <laughs> that was a. <amazing. laughs> I've never tried that before. I should try to glitch this game sometime. Anyway, rank seven fighter is Destroy Man. Come and get some. <laughs> so the rank seven boss goes by the name Destroy Man. He's a pretty interesting character. Also, this level's a pretty calm level, honestly. I mean, for most of it. But the first uh, half ish or so. It's just getting on a subway and stuff. I forgot to check at the motel if I've gotten all the trading cards or not. What really sucks about that trading card, though, is if you get through here, and then you look back and you see that there was a treasure chest there, you can't go back to get it. <laughs> Can you? No, you can't. So I'm trying my best to look for all the trading cards. It's really hard. Yeah, I don't see any. <laughs> if I miss one, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> Um, floof. It's so quiet in the subway level. <laughs> um, there's one right here. And there's one right here. Here, one right here. All right here. Oh my god, Travis! Okay, 17. I'm looking for trading cards. <laughs> I'm looking for Pokemon cards to add to my collection. Okay, I want to trade a Tepig for a Snivy. Nah. <laughs> I know that's not how you pronounce Snivy, but I s could have sworn that there was a trading card here. Or am I thinking of a different part of the level? There are like two, I think, three, I think it's just two levels. Two levels where you're in this exact subway station. And I think one of them has a trading card all the way down there. But anyway, do not hold doors. You can't tell me what to do. Alright, this is where the battles begin. I don't know why, I just like the atmosphere of this level. Because we're on a subway for most of it, which is pretty interesting. Have I ever been on a subway in real life? I've been on a train that went underground. But then it's above ground and underground train. But anyway, we are now on the subway. Oh my god. This is this is so cool. I don't know why I think it's so cool. I just like the whole atmosphere, like the fact that all the it really feels like we're actually on a subway fighting our way through guys. It just feels cool. 
Yeah, there's a little bit of load time um, between each set of guys, I guess. Maybe I'm defeating them too fast, you never know. That would be actually really cool if I actually found out I was defeating them too fast and that was that cool. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it just loads either way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, ninjured! I love Zen. Okay, yep. Uh, flew you! Oh, I'm almost out of battery. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Two and one? No, two for one. <laughs> and kill him. <laughs> Jerk off, kill him combo. Combo breaker. Oh, 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 where are you at? Where are you at? Travis MLG touchdown. That was a waste of battery. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Oh, I don't know why this game is so good. Game is so good, guys. I also never understood why, like, the freaking beam katanas have this weird thing, like, where, like, when I move mine up and down, like, when I'm, look at that, like, it, like, lags. I don't know why. It's, like, I guess it's, like, part of the style, if you want to call it that. Like, the really cool style of this game. Where you can, like, see where it's from. That's, I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, let's just jump out the door on a moving subway. No, I'm kidding. Don't try that at home, kids. It's 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 not safe. <laughs> yeah, I've been on a train that goes underground and then goes above ground. I need water. Mm. I felt dehydrated. But yeah, now we are outside of that subway and we are ready to kick some butt. Hopefully I can find trading cards 18, 19, and 20. There's one. Come on, you floof. You floof. There we go. 18. Oh. I thought it was a Lovacove ball for a second. I got excited. Is it this level that does the thing with the thing at the end of the thing? No, that thing? Just checking. Just, just making sure. Because you guys know they wouldn't put all this extra space here for no reason. I mean, they could literally just drop us off right at the top of these steps and not even let us explore the bottom floor. There's almost no point anyway. I don't know why. <laughs> I just have all these weird conspiracy theories about this game. Like, why is Travis's jacket red? What? <laughs> I don't know why his jacket's red. But anyway, we got two trading cards left, I think. 19 and 20. There's one! I hope. There's 19! Alright, 20 hopefully is around the corner, please. 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 No. <laughs> well, darn. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, oh. I'm sad now. <laughs> we'll find it someday, guys. Oh, it's beautiful out here. It's almost so beautiful, it makes a man cry. Manly tears, of course. Manly tears. Oh, well, yeah, now we are at, um... Bear Hug Film Studio. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long, guys. It's been too long since I've played this game. To f that I forget what everything is. Oh, 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 I think there's a trading card behind there. Uh, oh. Well, darn. <laughs> I thought there was one. Alright, but anyway, guys, we're back to fighting dudes with our beam katana. Beam katana! Okay, there's music playing. I, I, I paused myself for a second to check if there was actually music playing. So it's just like, why is it so quiet in here? Eh. Someday, guys. There will be no more Heroes 3. Also, I just remembered I was so lazy in the last episode, I completely forgot to put the comment on screen. <laughs> on screen? Yeah. On screen. I don't know why. I, that piece of information slipped my mind completely. I don't know. But, um, I don't know. I put it on now, but I'll probably forget. 
Because you know me. You guys know. You guys know how forgetful I am. Of, like, everything. Except I know for a fact that next week it's, um, one of my good friends who doesn't even go to my school anymore's birthday. <laughs> That's nice. I hope to wish her a happy birthday, somehow. <laughs> Holy crap, why is this game so fun? You don't give a floof? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I gotta stop making those noises when I do that. No, no, don't gun me, bruh. I'll dark step your friend. That was such a waste of battery, Travis. We're almost out again. <laughs> Why did I do that? I'm so stupid. I just realized we're only 10 minutes into the episode. What if it felt like an eternity on this level? This level just feels long to me. I think we go through like three rooms of enemies in this level. Like, after this one? I think it's two after this one. Maybe three. I could be wrong. Probably am. I don't know. Let me just recharge my battery. <laughs> oh my god. That, my hand is probably, like, super strong right now. <laughs> oh! Oh! That's the last trading card. Please, please, please. Hey! Number 20. I'm so happy. But all right, uh, no, don't special attack, Travis. That gun enemy may have actually saved me from special attacking right there, actually. Kill him! So yeah, guys. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about this episode. I mean, we're going to one of my favorite assassins in the game. We won't get to my favorite boss till much later in the game, but, you know. We're going little favorite by little favorite, I think, kind of. Kill him. Oh, there's nothing better than killing an enemy in this game, I swear. Like, like with this power-up, though, I think it'd be really cool. I think in the original recording for um, episode 3, I talked about how Travis should be in Smash Bros. Maybe that was the re-recording, I don't remember. But, if I feel like I'm repeating myself here, well, good, because I want to make my point straight. How Travis could work in Smash Bros. I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. But Smash Bros. is a game series home to many loved Nintendo IPs. Mario, Luigi, Peach, Lucario, Pikachu, all the Nintenders, Link, Samus, Shulk. Shulk's not really Nintendo, but he's third party. And you know, we freaking had Solid Snake in Brawl. So I think Travis Touchdown deserves his time to shine. How could Travis work? He swears constantly and uses a lightsaber that makes people bleed from a weapon. It's not that hard. Just just remove the blood, change some of what he says. Just, just, just take out the swearing and remove the blood. It's not that hard. Shulk freaking uses a monot the Monado is pretty much just this. Except with a, with a generic um, giant red sword attached to it. That's pretty much what the Monado is. I mean, I haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles yet. Remember, that's gonna be blind. <laughs> Shameless plug. But still, they both use beam type weapons. And Smash Bros. already has a beam sword. So, why is Travis Knight in it already? If we had Solid Snake in the game without, like, ruining Nintendo's image for a game, then I'm pretty sure we could have Travis Touchdown in Smash Bros. Like, can we get a petition? Can we get a petition that we're gonna send to Nintendo saying, I want Travis Touchdown in Smash Bros? Because I do. If I could choose any third-party character to be in Smash Bros, I would choose Travis and, of course, Sora. I don't know why, but I kind of want to do a countdown. <laughs> I know I've never done a countdown, but I want to do one. But my top five Smash Bros. characters I would want in as DLC or in the next Smash Bros. Travis would be pretty high up. I mean, he'd, he'd probably be number one. I mean, I probably just spoiled the list by saying that. But what if what if my mind changes? You never know. You know what? My mind probably will change. It's probably a better. Ooh, I'm already thinking of other contenders for this list. Yeah, I should really do a list. I really want to try it out. 
You guys think I'd be good at doing countdowns? I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, to do a good countdown, you have to be like JonTron, and I'm nothing like JonTron. I don't even have a bird that has a robotic voice. I don't even have a beard. I, I, I don't even have a second channel where I've been in my previous channel for like a whole year. Like, I'm not JonTron qualified. Holy crap, this level has so much recharging. Maybe it's just because I'm being stupid today, I'm not sure. That's probably it. Uh, floof. Oh yeah, the next level. Oh, crap, the next level. How do I feel about the next level? I'm not really sure how I feel about the next one. Eh, the level's okay. The boss is pretty cool. Next level. But, you know, the next level's just, it's just okay. It's just okay. Gotta stop doing that! I keep forgetting that it wastes so much battery. I wonder if we're close to the end. I mean, I think we're close to the end. I, I think, I hope. Kill him. Is that it? Is that it? The only enemies in the room? Is that it? I can... Oh, yep. That... Wait, what? <gasps> what did you get here? You noobs? Need a dark step, need a dark step, need a dark step, need a dark step. No, 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 kill him. No, get the confused dude. There, Jesus. Jesus, Travis. The one time I want to do a wrestling move, you'll almost miss. The wrestling moves are kind of pointless in this game. I mean, in the next game, they're almost completely obsolete. Like in the next game, I'm literally probably never going to use a wrestling move. Probably, I'm not sure. Though. Because in the next game, they're pretty much obsolete. But I think that's it for the enemies in this room. Yes, no. Sylvia call, all right. Let's just sit down and talk to our lady friend, I guess. Hey Travis, your next ranked battle is at the filming studio. Win, and you'll be seventh. Lose, and you're dropping down to an even deeper circle of hell. So, how are you feeling, Travis? Your head feeling better? Relieved yourself lately? Maintaining proper oral hygiene? When you're ready, step inside. Some people say it's important to know when to give up. That you shouldn't aim for things that are obviously beyond your grasp. But ignore idiots like that! Don't accept defeat before the first punch has even been thrown. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Did you even hear what I just said? And you call yourself an assassin? This is why third rates like you are hopeless. I am 120% certain you are going to die. All you can do is trust your force and head for the garden of madness. Jeez, Sylvia, just because I, Travis doesn't speak over the phone doesn't mean he's, like, not qualified or anything. Maybe he's the strong, silent type. You never know. I mean, through this game, mostly Travis doesn't speak, and that's kind of sad. I mean, un unless it's, like, during cutscenes, Travis rarely ever speaks. It's so weird. But, uh, yeah, here's a mask here. Um, let's check. Wrestling move. Look at your voice. Engage! All right, here we go. Travis, remember now. The most fundamental among fundamental suplexes made famous in Calgary. It's the all natural amusement machine, the German suplex, MS. All right, we remembered an old professional wrestling move. That's always nice. I wonder if someone's ever done a no wrestling move run on this game. I kind of question it. I have to look something up really quick. Um. This is actually important for once. How long to fudge? Let me save. How long to beat? No. No, no I can't spell. No more heroes. All right. How long is no more heroes? See, remember how long to beat? We're looking it up. All right. No more heroes is load. <laughs> Come on, load. Come on, load. Come on, come on, come on, look. Oh, I can cheat and get more health. My health didn't refill all the way. Let's use it. Ten hours, okay. 
Let me check the playlist length after this is over and see if it's actually 10 hours or not. Then we'll talk how long to beat. How long is No More Heroes 2? I kind of wonder. I don't really care. I'll look it up during the cutscene. I hope you all enjoy this cutscene. My, my one of my favorite assassins in the game slash series. Let's just let's just let's just watch. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I thought I wouldn't make it here on time. Had to take care of some customers that filed complaints. My apologies. So much to do with so little help. Yeah, I can't stand these people with all their nonsense complaints. They think they can just say anything. It's crazy. But anyway, I'm here. I made it on time. That's the important thing, right? I take it you're Mr. Eight? You? You're ranked? Not me. Well, actually it is me. Oh, that makes sense. Never mind then. You've got a job to do. But first, I need some time to get ready. Would you mind turning the other way? I need some privacy. Privacy? Yes. I need to prepare. Whatever. Don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. I just need you to look the other way for a second. A second? Yes, just a split second. I don't think it's too much to ask, do you? Then we can get on with our fight? That is correct. All right. Ah! Oh, damn it. Whoa, that was close. For a second there, I forgot that you were a killer. Sorry if I scared you. I didn't mean to do that. Something's wrong with me today. I let my guard down. Getting sloppy. I gotta stay on my toes. You mind if I ask you something? Yeah, what is it, Mr. Cosplay? We're both assassins, right? Why do we have to kill each other anyway? If you ask me, it's absolutely meaningless. It's about determining who's best. That's what it's about. Can't argue with that. Well then, let's get started. What? You want to shake hands? We're both fighters, aren't we? Not killers, at least for now. This is a sign of sportsmanship, that we respect each other before and after the fight. Good luck. Likewise. Destroy Spark. <laughs> oh, this is great. Is this guy an idiot or what? <laughs> is this a joke? You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Oh, man, you are something. Oh, this is the best. Man, you really cracked me up. <laughs> I think this laughter's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, seriously. I think I might really die from laughter. It hurts. Someone help. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, shit. I thought I was gonna die there. For real. <laughs> and look at you. You look like you're dead. I guess it's time for a wake-up call. Destroy cow! Destroy team! This is where it gets good. Good night. Destroy Buster! That was quite a move. I'll admit you've got potential. If Challenge had a taste, You'd be quite delicious. Fight for the seventh? Yeah, sure. Bring it on! I love a challenge! You're as good as dead. Alright, so this is Destroy Man, the seventh ranked assassin. Also, while that cutscene was going, I actually was looking up um, links for other Suda51 games, and um, I actually found that, um,. That No More Heroes 2 is actually shorter than No More Heroes 1, which is really weird to me. But you know, I, if I probably would have paid attention to look in the... If I brought, FUDGE! If I probably would have paid attention to look in the main and extra section, then yeah. Um, because it's probably longer in that section. If it's actually getting tricked to this guy, you can make him really easy. But I think it only works in the second phase of the fight. 
Because this guy has a second phase. He, this, is, this is not his only phase. Ooh, ooh, no, nah, floof. Can't touch this. But yeah, destroy man. We, we we see this guy. He pulls all these moves out of a hat. It's crazy. Mother! Oh, I made it. <laughs> I was about to say mother floofer, and I made it. Nope, can't touch us. You want to go, bro? Want to go? You want to? You want to? You want to go? Huh? Oh crap! I hate that move. Hate the destroy spark. But yeah, um, on how long to beat that comment says um no more hero. What the? Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah, this is where the second phase comes in. Um, all these sirens go off, and you it pulls stuff up into the sky. So you had destroy man. If you couldn't, if you didn't notice, he had a wire attached to him the whole time. I was gonna bring it up, but I thought I'd let him hadouken me some more. But yeah, it's a pretty oh fudge. But yeah, what they just did was a pretty clever way of actually showing what you need to do. Um, he had Duke in the switch and something fell. That's a really clever way of knowing, of teaching someone what to do. I think it's this one. Yep! <laughs> I've played this game too many times. I'm gonna turn them all off though, because that sound is really freaking annoying. Kill him! Get rid of everything. I wonder if it's possible to drop something on top of him. All right, I just want to corner this guy. Dash darn it! If I only get him to move toward me, I want to get him in a corner. Come on, destroy man! Oh my god! I have no freaking clue. I got him cornered in the corner with the battery in it. I'm gonna go get that battery actually really quick. I have no idea how I managed to do it, but I got him cornered in this corner with the battery. Where the battery was. But yeah, I did it on the PS3 version, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh crap. Oh, that move is so hard. That, that move does so much damage. The destroy cluster is just nuts. Nice. Fudge, Travis. Darn it, Travis. I'm just trying to play a game about being an assassin and you're you're not assassinating. Can't touch me. Can't touch me, destroy man. I mean compared to Shinobu, this guy's actually really easy. I don't know why, but for a boss that early in the game at rank 8, Shinobu is really freaking hard. Like I don't know if I just suck, which I probably do, but Shinobu is so hard. Like compared to compared to Shinobu, Destroy Man's a dream. Destroy Man, can't can't touch this, bro. Oh no. Okay. See, he almost got me, but he couldn't because. I don't freaking know why Destroy Man is so easy compared to Shinobu. But yeah, Shinobu is, is um, what I would consider one of the hardest bosses in the game. Not as hard as some of the ones coming up. I mean, freaking number six after this one's kind of a doozy. Six annoys me. <laughs> yeah, six and uh, rank six annoys me. The character's okay, but we'll get to the boss in a couple episodes. Unless I somehow make the next episode the hour long episode. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Yeah, yeah. And then he leaves himself wide open to an attack. Why would one do that? Oh nice, Travis. Did you see that? The epic break dance move! You can't touch me, bro. But yeah, all you gotta do is just, just you have to know what moves this guy is gonna pull. 
You have to pay attention to the cutscene. You'll know what moves this guy is gonna pull. Because I'm pretty sure he shows them all off in the cutscene. There's one move he doesn't use in the fight. I mean, I have never played the game on a higher difficulty than mild. I think. Oh no! It's always so close! Yeah, I think after you beat mild, you get a, a harder difficulty, but I don't remember. But on, um, there's one move that we're gonna see after the fight, um, that he doesn't do in the fight, I'm pretty sure. Oh! It's always so close. Um, there's one move that... I, I wonder if he does it on harder difficulties. Like, um, I think the biggest one is spicy. I'm not sure, though. Oh, no! The first one's always so close. Eh, but whatever. Destroy Man is an okay boss. Oh my god, like, when you get his health down, he just starts spamming the- Oh, fudge! He just spams the Destroy Cluster like nobody's business. Oh, fudge. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. My god! Oh, fudge! This man cannot... Uh, this man needs to die. Will you freaking... Yeah, just, just do that. <laughs> yeah, he can't go through things. So, when I got him cornered, I would literally just stand behind that box over there, and I would just, like, let him do it destroy clusters. Hadouken! The Hadouken hit me. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on, just one more freaking combo. Oh, there's one more combo. I think he's dead. Oh, combo, 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 combo. Happy feet. One more combo. I missed the wrestling move. Oh, 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 no. He, he actually got me. That's never happened before. It's such an easy move to dodge. That. He's not even close to me. Okay, it's your time to die. Just goodbye. <laughs> All right, so he, let's just watch his death scene. Yeah, here's the move. Just, just wait for it. It's really cool. Ah! Don't cry like that. You're a killer, aren't you? <laughs> Help! What? Help! I can't hear you. Help me! Please! What is this I hear from a seventh ranked killer? Whatever. It's over anyway. Please, help me! There you go! All right, though, so his, his final move is really freaking weird. I kind of wish he used it, but goodbye, Destroy Man. I'll miss you, buddy. He's pretty... He's a His interactions with Travis is what really sells it for me. But anyway, let's just talk to Sylvia and end the level. Travis, I'm starting to think that you may be for real. You are now seventh in rank. Hey, when I hit number one, you better be looking your best. No need to pretty up. I want you to see me for who I really am. Serious? Damn. <laughs> Dang. But anyway, we have ascended rank. Now we are rank seventh. Oh, uh, this game is just getting started from here on out. It, this is where the game really starts. I mean, after Shinobu, I'm pretty sure that's where the game really pretty much starts. Just 
Death Metal Doctor Peace and Shinobu. They're just the prologue. After after Death Metal Death Metal <laughs> Destroy Man is where the game starts to pick up. Oh crap, I didn't wait till the end of the song. And eh, whatever. We'll get it next time. But anyway guys, that'll be it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment on what you thought of Destroy Man. That man is amazing. But anyway guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Circuit 3. Signing off. Peace out, little. Oh crap. Um, leave a like if you enjoy. Leave a comment on. Did I say that? Leave a comment on Destroy Man. <laughs> I think I said that already. God, I'm. <laughs> wow. Um, thank you for watching this episode. And I'm Circuit 3. Signing off. Peace out, little keychains. And good night.